good evening. Thank you very much for having me to present my bad ad hoc hypothesis. Now, as a writer and as a drunk, I'm a big fan of Ernest Hemingway. Now, um, <laughs> uh, apart from like the casual misogyny, homophobia and violence uh, kind of stuff. But as a biologist, I am also a big fan. And the reason why sheds light on what I believe is an important next step in evolution. Now, in this Venn diagram, I've outlined some of the key traits. God, you're just laughing at an empty Venn diagram. <laughs> <laughs> I've outlined some of the key traits associated with Hemingway, namely uh, fighting, um, as exemplified by his books like Death in the Afternoon, For Whom the Bell Tolls, I mean, all, all the war ones. God, the man loved fighting. Uh, fishing. <laughs> the old man in the sea, you know. And... Um, mating, <laughs> pretty much everything else. And all three of these behaviours coalesce on one organism. <laughs> so, uh, specifically with reference to Hemingway, these cats, these are Hemingway cats. They're found in abundance on his estate in Florida, down in the Florida Keys, and these are polydactyl cats. You can note the extra toes. This is a thumb cat here. Um, they're often referred to as Hemingway cats or thumb cats. And according to legend, the first of these cats arrived when Ernest Hemingway was given a six-toed polydactyl cat by an old sea captain. And uh, these six-toed cats are still commonly found at the eastern seaboard of the US today. Now, I think there are several reasons why six-toed cats may be kept on ships and obviously you know, bred and encouraged to live on ships. So some advantages of marine feline polydactyly um, firstly, enhanced rodent control properties, being able to grip prey with their larger and more prehensile digits. Furthermore, this presence of a thumb, it gave cats increased prehensility, uh, enabled them to grip onto ropes, uh, other kinds of bits of rigging, two or three times of oceanic turbulence. <laughs> um, a, a demonstration. <laughs> Both these features would have a very, very strong evolutionary pressure because unenhanced felines lacking this extra thumb would either starve from lack of prey or they'd be gained to the briny deep and lost to the breeding pool uh, during stormy weather. But I think there's an even more potent evolutionary driver to keeping these six-toed cats and encouraging them to breed on board ships. And that is that sailors are really freaking superstitious. Um, and so what is more lucky than a cat with, like, with five toes, right? A cat with six toes. So um, I think that there's been a very, very strong evolutionary pressure uh, to keep this mutation among cats living with sailors. Now, I'd just like to go into this mutation in just a little more technical detail as a geneticist. So um, it's due to a naturally arising fault in a control switch for a gene called Sonic Hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> believe me, it was named after the video game character. There's a lovely story about the professor in the lab going into McDonald's and wondering why his gene was so popular that they were naming a Happy Meal after it. <laughs> uh, but the, uh, the element, the control element is shown here. This is the Limbug Enhancer. This is responsible for switching on Sonic Hedgehog in the developing limb, whether that's a, a mouse, this is a mouse, or a cat, or a baby growing in the womb, and it directs the formation of digits. And if this is uh, mutated, as in the case of the Hemingway cats, uh, basically Sonic Hedgehog is overactive, and, and the paw doesn't know when to stop making digits, it starts making extra thumbs. Now, this is uh, the mutation responsible for the Hemingway cats. And we've seen how they have used, these polydactyl cats have used this naturally occurring mutation to wheedle their way into the affection of the seafaring profession. Now, I would like to now propose that having done this once, they are now poised to do it again, moving their affections up the intellectual food chain. And in doing so, I believe that they're going to gain access to the tools they need to take the next step in their biological journey. Um, so, this is my hypothesis. By taking advantage of a naturally occurring mutation and an innate affinity with scientists, cats are now poised to become masters of their own biological destiny. 
So, um, you know, over recent years, we have seen increasingly intense interactions between cats and the scientific community. The profusion of science-themed lolcats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> acting as multiple exemplars. Um, obviously, you can't make science-themed lolcat jokes too often. <laughs> Now, a Google image search reveals literally thousands of images of cats with scientists, including in labs, six-toed cats as well. Um, you know, in particular, these polydactyl cats are of great interest to scientists. They combine their own genetic curiosity with excessive cuteness. And I propose that these cats with thumbs have leveraged this naturally occurring mutation to deliberately infiltrate the hearts and minds of the research world with the express goal of gaining access to gene editing technology. <laughs> <laughs> these new tools known as the CRISPR-Cas9 system, um, these allow scientists to specifically change small defined regions of the genome with a high degree of accuracy. Now, I think it's only a very small step from using a prehensile feline thumb to grasp the tail of a mouse or, or a passing rope during a storm, to being able to operate molecular biology equipment <laughs> such as pets and Eppendorf tubes. And by artificially manipulating the control switches in their genome, as has naturally happened with the sonic hedgehog control switch, I believe cats will be able to effect further dramatic evolutionary changes, such as enhanced intelligence, Enhanced physical capabilities. You know, they've got a thumb. What if they could really grip? <laughs> um, and also, obviously, we know that they would, uh, obviously, the first move they'd want to do is significantly increase their already significant capacity to be total bastards. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we know from our previous experience with cats that they are bastards. <laughs> And uh, these engineered skills will then enable them to pick locks, <laughs> to obtain and load firearms, uh, and ultimately overthrow the human race. And given that cats are already the dominant species on the internet, I feel it's only a matter of time before they actually assume this role in real life. And I, for one, welcome our feline experts. <laughs> Please. Buy my book, I'll be on. <laughs> I take cards and cash, I'll have to stay away from it.